Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky everybody, Alan Paul here and we're doing our normal playthrough for our new tertiary main save, that means our third main save. Matter of fact, while I'm thinking of it, we're going to go in here and rename it tertiary in, there we go, tertiary main save 2024, that's what I'm going to name this one. All right, so, and this is with the Omega update. This is the latest update that we've come out with. So this is going to be something else, man. I tell you, uh, really, really enjoying the game for the last several years. So I'm really looking forward to this. I'm going to try to scan as many animals as I can because the more I scan, the better off I'll be in getting some extra nanites. I really need those nanites. If God is here. Oh, my gosh. Those are my favorite animals. They fly like you wouldn't believe, too. Ow. Let's go check out this animal. There it is. Nibbles at shoots. Good. That's all I want it to nibble at. Don't want it nibbling at me. Alright, six and nine. So we got three more animals, and I know there's no water on this planet, so I'm going to guess at least one of them is underground. Let's take a look. Uh, discoveries, right. Ground, flying, and flying. Oh, good. Good. No underground ones. So we got one on the ground someplace, and then we'll have uh, two flying animals someplace. So probably during the day, I'm going to guess. All right. So if you're wondering, uh, yeah, I'm in a different spot. I'm out of launch thruster juice. So I went ahead and found a landing pad over here that I can land on. That's a little landing platform. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this as a save point. And this, I hope, will help, will help me... I can't talk anymore. Will help me find a crashed ship. So let's gather up some resources. We need to make a base, but I would rather find myself a minor settlement if I can. Those are always very handy. So we're going to open this one up, get a couple more nanites out of it. Not much out of that one, huh? Hyperdrive module. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we need to pick that up. It's, there we go. All right. Just animals. That's all they are. Just a little buggy. Okay. Some more nanites from that. Nice. 70 of them. Good. And there shouldn't be anything in here. This second one's always pretty bare. All right. And we need to, you know, drop down a base. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look for a place we can plant a base. That was a uh, rhyme. Sorry. Wasn't trying to rhyme there. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's pick up things as we go. Okay, some more nanites. I uh, got nanites over here. All right. Always try to look for things that you can pick up while you go through. An automated distress call went unanswered. Uh, if I crack the encryption pattern, I could potentially extract the coordinates. Ah, this one. And it's just a math problem. The one times two. Pardon me. It's usually... It's a multiplication. So one times two equals two. Two times three equals six. Six times four. 4 is 24, 24 times 5 is 120, so 120 times 6 is 720. Now, if you got the wrong answer, you wouldn't have found a distress signal. Oh, it's really close by, too. Alright, so we got a ship, like, right there. That's great. We might even be able to walk to it at this point. It's literally right on the other side of that uh, hill. 355 units. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, that's walking distance easily. Alright. Let's check it out. We'll leave the ship here for now. Uh, that way. Okay. Paradise planet, so we'll go ahead and do it. Love to get the animals, so I don't think I can make... creature pellets yet. No, not allowed. Okay. There we go. Oh, good. Grab one of these blue plants. 
Oh my, okay, so what do we got here? Is that a hauler? No, it's a shuttle. Eh, not the greatest of ships, but it's an old crash ship. Let's see what we got. It's an A-class. Ooh. Problem with these crash ships is, as you can see, you got a lot of damaged tech up here, okay? Uh, the landing, thrust, the launch thrusters are in good shape, and so is the, pro, uh, the photon cannon. Uh, it does have at least two supercharged slots on board. We do have to cr fix the pulse engine, but we could sell this for a pretty penny. The repairs would cost a lot. I mean, there's a lot that you're going to need in order to repair all this stuff up. So I don't think we're going to keep this one, but boy, the money we can get out of this is definitely worth it. Nice. All right, let's check out the surroundings real quick. First, let's see if we can get a reward. Cockpit is adorned with the trophies of dead creatures perched on every available surface. At the control sits a tendrilled hunter, its body and face lacerated. The dank smell of blood assails my nostrils as I fight back the nausea. The black box reveals the pilot was attacked by something whilst in flight, but it's unclear what. I could strengthen the warning beacon in the, in the cockpit, but it would leave me vulnerable to attack. Ah... Uh. I wonder what would happen if we did that. I don't think I want to do that. I think I'm just going to search for signs of life. Ship technology blueprint. The creature that caused this carnage is thankfully long gone. We got our teleport receiver for our ship. Excellent. All right, that'll come in handy later on. So we got the blueprint for it. Let's go over the damage to machinery and all the stuff nearby. See what kind of things we can get out of it. It's by just nanites. Good, good. Search that, see if we get anything out of it. Sometimes you don't get anything, but that's okay. We got sodium nitrate. There we go. That's carbon. Hopefully, microprocessor. Yeah, okay. A lot of times you can get one of those out of there, too. And more technology. Excellent. Just two, it looks like, so that's at least something. All right, so we want to claim the ship. That's the mistake we almost made. We know our ship is over that way. Let me just do this real quick. Now, if you do this, you go out here, and you hit E. There you go. That's the direction our ship is. You can put down a beacon. Because once we claim this, we lose that one, sort of. We'll claim it. Okay, it is now our ship. And if there's any technology that is undamaged, we can sometimes... You know, do things with it. I would like to fix this. I don't think we can do the hermetic seal. Yeah, we can do a hermetic seal. Okay, let's go ahead and do that real quick and fix this up. All right, so the ship is now flight worthy. We can call it in anywhere we want and fly it up to the space station. So that's good. And I don't think we really need to fix anything else right now. So, all right, so let's head this way and go back to our main ship. And once we're able to uh, get to the space station, we can sell it and make some a lot of credits off of that. And there's our ship over there, the Radiant Pillar. If it was a really, really good ship, if it, you know, if it turned out to be an S-Class or something like that, I would probably do something with it. But I don't see any reason to do anything with it at this time. Okay. All right. Very nice. Very nice to find a crash ship this soon. Alright. So again, our launch thrusters are at zero, but we're on a landing platform, so... We can still take off for now. So I am going to scan... Okay, we've already gone that way. Let's head south, this way. And see what we can find. And I'm going to keep scanning and scanning and scanning until I find what I'm looking for. Because, as you 2 says, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Very pretty planet, though. I do have to admit. Uh, what do we got over there? Found a lot of that. These little campsites, and that's about all they are. Doesn't help me any. And sooner or later we'll find something. I mean, a trading outpost is okay too. But... 
it's not not what you need at this early stages of the game. It's handy. I mean, it's got it's got the trade terminal and everything like that. Got other ships landing. See people you can trade with and stuff like that, but it's not exactly what you need. So we're just going to keep flying and we're going to keep looking. Because you have time and this is going to be your first base for your character. You kind of want to make sure that everything's in order. Uh, that is for a crashed freighter if we wanted to land there and take a look. I'm not sure why it didn't show up on my radar, but there you are. Little campground. I'm just going to continue to head south. Okay, what do we have here? That's another one. Interesting. Why don't we take advantage of it? Because if we can get two crash ships, that's even more money. And who knows, maybe we'll end up with a decent crash ship. That's not a shuttle. Okay. Ooh, we've got two undamaged containers here. Damaged, undamaged, if you will. Let's see what we got out of the first one here after the nanites. Corvax casing doesn't really help us much. Life support gel, always handy. Okay, looks like our door is on this side. More condensed carbon. We can talk to the NPCs in here. Let um, me see. The warrior's nostrils flare as I approach. They inhale deeply, tasting the humid air that has followed me into this once sterile facility. They bark out that what could be a warning. I hurriedly mime that I am peaceful and know little of their kind or language. He says something in Viking, obviously, and we don't understand a word. They take a second to think, then grab my multi-tool while barking again into my visor, streaking it with saliva. They point at the mining beam charge indicator, then at my backpack. I do my best to keep calm. So, how do we charge our mining beam? Carbon. So we're going to choose number one. The warrior grunts in satisfaction, impressed by both my gift and my understanding. They teach me several new words of their language. Excellent. So we learned Viking, interloper. And that's it. Okay, so we're going to get these nanites. Let's go over to the terminal here and we'll get our latest math problem. The operations terminal reveals an automated plea for help. Clear a pattern emerges within the white noise hissing from the screen. If I can work out what comes next, I could potentially lock down the distressed craft's location. So this time we got 23, 45, 89, 177. Now if you think about that, twice 23. So 23 doubled is 46. So it's obviously doubled minus 1 gives you 45. 45 does the same thing. 45 and 45 is 90. Minus 1 is 89. So therefore, 89 and 89 is 178. Minus 1 is 177. So what's 177 and 177? So basically, that's going to be 300 and... Hold on. Yes, 354. And then minus 1 would be 353. So we have our distress signal. This one's probably going to be not as close. Normally, the distress signals are nowhere near you. It's very odd to have found that one so close by. And this one is not even going to show us where from here. But as you can see, it would take us 19 hours to walk to it. And so we're not going to do any walking to it. But we are going to go ahead and remember that. Uh, looks like we got another animal. Good. And we've got flying creatures. We'll go ahead and get that one. Excellent. I think that's eight now. I think we just need one more, I think. I keep looking around, and sometimes you can see another flying creature someplace. I think the last one's going to be flying. So we got all of our land-based animals. we just got to keep an eye open for flying creatures. We'll get a nice... Whoops, wrong way. Get a nice bonus nanite. Great. Uh, oh, technology. We didn't get it. Right there. Did we get our nanites out of here? I think we did. Nope, we didn't. Again, take advantage of everything at the early game. 
get all these damaged machineries and all these things you can get from them. More nanites, right? Excellent. Okay, good deal. Alright, so we are done with this area. We're going to head south. We'll worry about the distress signal in a little bit here. Uh, south is this way. Do a quick scan. Nothing. Scan again. Like I said, minor trading facility is what I'm looking for. Now, you don't have to do this. You can drop down anywhere and create a base if you wish. I like having access to the minor outpost because it usually carries a lot. Yeah, I don't need that place. That's great. Nice big long facility there, but I don't need it. So it's very important to get something going. Whoop. Nope, oh, that's just plants. And like I said, I really want the right place. That's one of those little shelters, okay. Got. Got a little campground on the left and looks like a shelter on the right. It's one of those long buildings. That's one of the long buildings. Okay. And that looks like, yeah, just a little campsite. Actually, that's an economy scanner. Can we make. That's pretty cool. Can we make launch thruster juice here? We need metal plate. Can we make a metal plate? We don't have enough ferrite dust, but we can make it. Okay, good. Let's make some launch thruster juice. I do want to hit the economy scanner, because sometimes we get lucky. So we're low on ferrite. So let's go find some rocks to kill. Kidding. Is that enough? It is enough. Make this launch thruster fuel. There we go. Alright, so we're charged there. Let's use this. Not the light. The waypoint. And hopefully it'll find us a trading outpost or some sort. Usually finds a minor settlement. Minor pirate, minor minor trading. Minor settlement. It is minor settlement. Okay, good. It's that way. Eight hours away. Excellent. Let's do it. We can get ourselves established. Let's see how long it'll take us. 16 minutes real time. So let's go ahead and head up into the atmosphere. We'll take a shortcut. As you know, when you go into space, you can go a little quicker. Whoop. Hello. All right. See, now this way would take us about two minutes or so. But if we pulse drive to it after we lock on to it, there you go, less than five seconds. Much faster. Yep, the drag in the atmosphere slows down the main speed. But the higher you go in the atmosphere, you can still go faster. It does, it does hold to certain physics. All right, so this little area looks okay to me. Looks like that is a... No, it isn't. Okay, I thought it was a landing platform over there. This is going to work just fine. All right. Good deal. This looks good. And they always have their own stuff. Okay, sometimes they have more than one cache. But they don't. Okay, let's go check some things out over here. It's fortuitous of us to find this. Oh, 
What do we got? Navigation data and some nanites. 36 in there. And we now have over 100 more. Excellent. Oh, do we get the buried tech goes over here? And probably... There we go. Excellent. So, life support system's getting low. Okay, that's alright. Alright, great, great part about this is that you can also look for other multi-tools. This is a B-class multi-tool with two slots on board, and it looks like we have 4, 8, 12, 13 available slots. If we compare it, we're not going to have the money to buy it, but it's not a bad price. I mean, to exchange it for 70000 isn't bad, and guess what? We've got the money right now by selling some stuff. Now, before we do that, let's go in here. Let's sell off a couple things. Like the salvage data, we don't need all of that. We definitely don't need these. Let's sell them off. The vortex cubes. Vorvax casing we don't need. We can get rid of the sweet root at this point. And we'll hang on to the microprocessor. Go back up here to the salvage data. We don't really need 21 right now. But it's good to have that many. You probably want about 30 in a little bit. But I'm going to sell... I'm going to say two of them so I can get 100,000. Okay. There we go. We're up to 172. You can also, and I didn't think about this, you can buy stuff here. We can get more ferrite dust. I'm going to go ahead and buy all of it. Um, we can get more starship fuel, but they are expensive, as you can see. It's almost better to go ahead and make it yourself. We have microprocessors we can buy. You see they, they, they purchase uh, the buying price is much higher than the selling. Uh, pugnium and gold. Okay, we got a good amount of stuff here, so this is pretty good. So before we talk to that guy, let's go ahead and see if we can't purchase this. So it already has a scanner, an analysis visor, and a mining beam, but we're also getting a bolt caster out of it. So this is definitely worth it for me. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade, and I'm going to tra trade it in. We don't need the old one. It had a nice slot in it, but it was getting low anyway. So let's go ahead and exchange it. And we now have a new multi-tool. Let's go in here move some stuff around. We're going to go ahead and put you here. And we're going to put our bolt caster down here. Now, you've noticed our scanner range is 252. If you put your scanner in one of these, it boosts it to 315. We can see much further. So we're going to leave that there for now. I'll put the bolt caster off to the side. Analysis, vi analysis visor isn't going to help us any. Now, it's, it's doing this because we need to create a terrain manipulator. We need two carbon nanotubes and a dihydrogen jelly. Let's go ahead and make them. We're going to do one. We've got plenty of carbon, two, and a dihydrogen jelly. There we go. Go back to the multi-tool, and we now can complete the technology. We now have ourselves a terrain manipulator. All right. So we're in good shape. Let's talk to this guy, because he might have something to offer us. Warrior stares at me with hostile, fiery eyes. They look with disdain at my exosuit, still covered with mud and grass from my time on this planet. Nonetheless, the life form bows in greeting. Tradition and honor perhaps dictated. He says something in his language, which include the words interloper and viking. I don't feel in danger, and I am about to turn and leave when the creature points toward my multi-tool. They bark with concern and motion to suggest I should hand it over. I could refuse to relinquish it, but I'm going to actually hand it over. Let's see what he does. He nods in satisfaction. Then they take my multi-tool and examine it, holding it close before tossing it away with a divisory snort. Instead, they offer me an improved replacement multi-tool. Is it really? Let's find out, shall we? Um, wow. Actually, it kind of is a very nice multi-tool. Um, got two supercharged slot on it as well. It is a B-class as well. It's got a bolt caster with a ricochet module. It's also got a paralysis mortar, as well as the mining beam scanner and analysis visor. However, you see it has a lot of damaged slots on here. Wiring loom is needed. Phosphorus, ammonia, uranium. I don't know. And how many slots are available? Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It has 13 slots available which is as much as my old tool, plus it's a rifle, which means it's more powerful on the damage side of things. So you know what? I think it might be worth taking this. So let's go ahead and grab it. 
We will have to repair this one slot down here. We need two wiring looms and a quad servo. Quad servo is going to be really, really tough. We can only get that from a uh, from a quad, basically, from a Sentinel quad. But, again, it might be very, very well worth my time to get this. And I think I'm going to go ahead and take it. I think it's worth more. But we don't have to exchange it. We can just take it and repair it later. I forgot about that. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll come back to it. Yes, I like this idea. Now, first thing we need to do is we need to switch over to our multi-tool. So, let's go back to the optimized one. That was very nice. We got ourselves a brand new multi-tool. Or, or a multi-tool for this dude. All right, the technology merchant. Oh, what happened here? Oh, money maker. <laughs> okay. All right, it's technology merchant. Let's see what he's got in the components area. We have hermetic seals. We have three wiring looms. You can see they're very expensive, though. And I don't have the money for them. Um, exosuit multi uh, exosuit upgrade cart charts. He's got two of them. That's good too. All right, we've got some good stuff here. He'll also have some blueprints if we check them out. Uh, we can't get some of them, but we can get the advanced mining laser. We'll get that later on our own for free. So if you want to hold on to your nanites for now, go ahead. I'm not going to get it. I'm going to hold off for now. But it's nice to know that this stuff is there. So we have a decent place to start with. Um, going out the side door here, I like to always build my base on this side of it so I can go straight in and out. There will be a storm. Even though this is a paradise planet, you always have a storm while you create your first base, so just so you know that. So we're going to put down our base computer, but we need chromatic metal, which it keeps telling us we need to gather copper. So let's take a look around. Um, copper deposit at 873. You tell me that there's no other deposits anywhere nearby, huh? Well, guess not. Okay, and I do want to leave my ship where it is, so let's take a little walk, shall we? There, we're on mining beam for now. Can't seem to remove my beacon. But I'm going to go ahead and get these last birds because I think that's my last one. There, got it. Oop. Got it. Okay. So let's check. Yep, all nine discovered. That gives us a 2,250 nanite bonus. Very, very well worth it. Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and head to our copper. We're going to be okay for money here very, very soon. Once we start selling these ships and we can get to the space station, we'll be doing that. Probably the achievement is setting out. That's my guess. Whoops. Ran out of run juice. Alright, so we need to get 30 chromatic metal. In order to get 30 chromatic metal, you need at least 60 copper. So... We'll get more than we need. Ow. Ow. Okay, so for the life support, we're going to use one of those jellos. Fortunately, it doesn't look like anything got damaged. And here's our copper. Uh, it does not look like a very good deposit. And we're going to leave it on medium setting. Because of the fact that it's not a very big, not very good deposit. There's a lot of silicate in here. So we'll gather what we can out of it. If we can just get a couple hundred out of it to start with, we should be in good shape. Fortunately, it's a pretty big deposit. Not huge by any means, but decent sized. When you see it kind of marbleized like that with, with other stones, like silicate and stuff like that, yeah, it just becomes... You don't bother with the smaller settings because you're not going to get enough out of it to make a difference. Alright. 
think we've got just about everything out of this deposit. Yeah, I think we did. How much did we end up with? Let's see. Almost 400. That's not bad. Love to see if we can squeeze five more out of this if there's some down here, but I don't think there is. One. Yeah, I think we're good. I mean, we kind of need the silicate as well. Yeah, we didn't get any more. All right. Let's head back to our ship. Now, we could call our ship in. Where's our ship at? That way. Always good to look around. We don't need any salt. Salt. Hopper a thousand clicks away. Paraffinium and paraffinium. Which, I'm not going to say there's anything wrong with paraffinium, just that we... Yeah, there's nothing there for us. Alright, there's a subterranean organic structure here. Pretty far down, I'm kind of surprised. What this is, is it's a money maker. Oh, I can't go through that. Can I hit it with our... Nope, can't even hit it. That's a shame. Alright. So, to get it out of our sights... Starship that way. Oh, it's cobalt, huh? Oh, and the secondary element is silver. Nice. Caves here are going to be very, very much worth my time. Ah, it's a pretty cave, isn't it? ship is this way, so it's going to be time to dig out. Put it in its largest setting, carve a hole to the surface. There we go. Make your own cave. And there's our ship. Ships flying over. Nice. Hello. I try to grab those blue plants whenever I can as they speed up your journey across the planet. But stay close to the ground in case your jetpack runs out. Alright. So, not bad. We have copper now. We need to turn it into chromatic metal, so we want to put down our portable refiner. And give it some juice. Hopper, drop it in. We only need 30 to start with. Okay, good deal. So we're in pretty good shape here. I think we have everything we need to get things started. We have plenty of land space over here to build out a halfway decent base and to get things going, so. Should have 30 in there by now. There we go. I'll take that. Let's go ahead and get our base computer set up, shall we? Base completed. Okay, no prior claims to the site. Claim the base. All right. We now have our first base, and it happens to be on a paradise planet. 
in a system that has a, both a paradise planet and a paradise moon, so I really like that a lot. Alright, accessing log from previous user, entry 4925D follows. Storm sweeping across, but construction supplies low. Depositing shelter plans while need to back soon. So we're going to extract the plans. So it's mainly, it's a wooden area, but as we create this, we got to remember we're about to be hit by a storm. The first thing I do is I create a nice four square. We can build bigger later on. Timber walls, get them going. One, two, three. There's the announcement of the storm. Three, four. You notice I've left two sides open. I'm going to put some doors in. That's what this is for. But we need pure ferrite. So let's go ahead and make that. Pull our chromatic metal out. Pure ferrite is made from regular ferrite, as you might remember. We don't need much. Let's get about 20. There we go. Keep the regular ferrite. Okay, put a door in. And another door. Okay, and we're going to put in... I always like this timber roof. If you hit G, uh, what happened there? Not G. You hit B, you can pull back and do it yourself. And boom. And you're now indoors. See? Look at that. All done. Alright, base computer's ready. The storm should stop in a moment. Accessing log from previous user. Additional archives recovered. Entry 4925E follows. Construction largely a success. Recovered salvage data from nearby plans logged. Scans indicate additional subterranean devices. Beginning search. I'm going to take some more plans. Whoever recorded these logs evidently had some success. I have access to their plans. Perhaps I can learn from their efforts. So we now have a construction research unit made from 20 magnetized ferrite and a carbon nanotube. See? It's telling me to expand my base. So let's pick up the portable refiner and we're going to move it inside. There it is. So let's put it right here. We will be taking it with us. Now we need magnetized ferrite. How much did we need again? Let's find out. We need 20. So we need 40 pure ferrite. Remember? So we're going to take 40 of you. Let's charge this sucker up. Oop, there we go. It's not going to take long to do. And we put it back in to give us 20 magnetized ferrite. Done. Okay. And we need to make a carbon nanotube. Okay. And we now can make a construction research unit. Which I always stick in the corner. Another storm coming through. So, let's see. So we want to spend some salvage data in here. So what do we need? Analysis unit online. Suggest user to recover salvage data from buried technology, equipping, utilize, and analysis visor, which we've already done. So we research buildable technology. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, so we can get a base teleporter, which we do need. There we go. Um, let's see. Oh, we got to rename our base. Let's go ahead and do that. So things have changed. I know they did change some of the stuff on here. So let's change our base to Ron Paul's first base. You know, at some point we're going to name one Home Plate. So, you know, that'll be funny. All right. Gather yeah, ferrite dust. We need more ferrite dust. Okay. Do we have any rocks? I see rocks. 
mining beam. There we go. Okay, and these storms should cease soon because this system is not known for storms. It's a paradise system. So the storm should be ending quickly. Okay, we need to make four metal plates. We need a lot more ferrite for that. Good thing about these heat storms, your jetpack lasts a lot longer in a heat storm. All right. second. So we can make, I think we have enough to make four metal plates now. So let's make them one, two, three, and four. We did just enough. And carbon nanotubes, we need to make two of those. Let's go ahead and do that. One, two. All right. So we're going to build the base teleport module, which is right over here. And we'll put it right in the corner over here. Okay, we need a biofuel reactor, so we need to learn that. Let's go in here and learn that. We should have enough uh, stuff to learn this stuff at. So that is what we need. We also need the wiring. It doesn't cost us anything to have that. You can learn these two if you wish. Solar panel and battery are really, really handy later on, especially the battery to gather up the, uh, to, to store power. So I'm going to learn it. And I'm going to learn the solar panel as well, because those are the two best things to have right now. The other thing that you really kind of need, and here's just some stuff for your base itself, is... I don't know if you have it here or not. I'm not sure if we have it yet. No, I guess we don't. Okay. I'm not sure how many of the solar panels we can make. We would need gold to make them. We could probably make two. I think we have enough gold for that. But we need at least one metal plate. The biofuel reactor also needs a metal plate. So one, two, three. And we need 60 magnetized ferret for a battery. So let's go ahead and start making some stuff. We do need some ferrite to make the magnetized ferrite. So the storms should be over. That should be the last of them. And the thing we haven't run into yet is sentinels, strangely enough. Is that? No, pure ferret. Ooh, look at that. I don't like those ships a little bit. Okay, if we get enough money, we might be able to buy our own, you know? That'll be a good thing. All right, now these are pure, right? Yeah, I'd love to get some pure ferrite, but we don't have the advanced mining laser yet. Nope. That is definitely regular ferrite. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. And good. All right. How much we got now? Still at 182. We need more. There we go. Looks good. Two more over here. Let's go ahead and grab them. Three of them. Good. All right. 285. All right. That should be enough for now. All right. 
So we need let's drop We need 80, did we need? I think we needed 80. Let's get some more. Okay. So I need 160 pure. Let's see. 60, so we only need 120. So we'll stop it at the 120 mark. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> so we'll wait that for that to build out. We need need some at least three metal plates. One, two, three. There we go. So let's get some power set up. So we do need one biofuel reactor. It's gonna bug us until we make it. We do need one of these at least i'd like to have a second one if we have it yeah we have enough to do it good and yes you can put them inside now they of course don't do anything at night now we're connecting wires in case you can't see it and that to that okay we got everything hooked up oh i did forget something hold on there we go. Got to put our battery in, which we need our magnetized ferrite now. Just one battery for now will work. I'm going to put it in between. Let's turn it sideways. There we go. And we'll hook up our wire from here to here, and then from here to here. Okay, we got all the wiring going on. Let's go into the biofuel reactor, and we're going to put in some carbon. We've got plenty of carbon, so that's 50 hours of power. Somehow something's not hooked up. Hold on. There we go. Here to here. There we go. Now we got power to it. So, the terminus. There we go. Okay. It's not lighting up for some reason, but our, at least our battery is storing power. And when these have daylight, they're going to pull in a lot more power and really get some power going to the battery. To the uh, to the battery. Now, this isn't lighting up because we have nowhere we can go, so there's no reason for it to be online. Okay. So we are done with these and all the things that we're going to need to get ourselves going. So let's go ahead and get over to the base computer and learn something new. So accessing log from previous unit, additional archives recovered. Entry 4925 F follows. Scanner detected unusual broadcast repeating 16 from the space station. Yes. Warning. End of archive. Record. Records interrupted. Base computer archives have reached their end. It seems there is nothing more I will learn from them. My predecessor appears to have left their base and headed to the space station. Okay. So what are we going to do here? We're going to head to the space station. But what are we going to do first? First thing we're going to do is we're going to go check out that crashed ship. And see what we can get out of it. So this crashed ship is really far away. Um, two hours by flight, but if we go out in space, it would probably take us about 20 seconds to get there. Easy. There we go. Lock in. And go. Eight seconds. Probably going to go to daylight side in just a second. Nope. Oh, yep. Daylight. Came in at it at dawn or sunset. Not sure which one it is. Looks like it might be sunset, because I think the sun is going down here. And let's see what kind of ship we got. So the first one was an A-class ship. In very good shape. Well, not, not good shape, but being an A-class, which is higher than my C-class, it will be definitely worth my time. This is... Ooh, a hauler. Those are worth a lot more. Almost every single hauler I've ever found is always a C-class, though. So let's gather up resources, and we'll make the make this last just a little bit longer nothing found in the yellow 
Get rid of the rusted metal for now. The hydrogen jelly. Very nice. Damage machinery. What do you got? Probably just nanites as usual. Good. And can we get a reward from the distress beacon? Opulently furnished interior suggests the dead pilot once belonged to one of its race's more affluent family families. The cause of its mid-flight demise is unclear, but the ship is likely to be carrying a decent cargo. The body lies draped over a large box covered in dangerous-looking alien markings. A strange black mist surrounds the scene. Ooh. I don't know if we should open the box or not. I think we should search for loot. So let's search for loot, shall we? Ship expense is full of valuable commodities. What'd we get? A couple of Viking effigies, starship launch fuel. Okay, that's alright. It's worth it. So what do we got? It's also a C-Class, as I expected. Uh, nothing operable except the photon cannons. So this could be worth a lot more money than the other ship. So let's do some trading, shall we? We're going to make some money here, folks. I need to make... Oh, we gotta, we got to claim it first. So I need to fix this up. So we're going to do... Uh, we got a dihydrogen gel. We need a hermetic seal. And we need some pure, right? Pure ferrite. Did I grab the portable refiner? I did not. All right, we're going to need some ferrite. Rocks. I need a rock. I want a rock. There we go. Need a whole lot of rocks. Because we need to make a... Another refiner. We'll leave that one back at the base then. That geode is very handy. Okay. Let's see what we got. Alright, 176. So that should be good. So we need to make two metal plates. One, two. We need to put down a refiner. Let's go ahead and put some carbon in it and make... Why are we looking at those inventories? Uh, we need 50... And go. Okay. Back to the starship. Let's go ahead and fix it. Part one where one is fixed. We got a hydrogen jelly. And we pick this up. That'll give us our pure ferrite. Done. Okay, so it's now space worthy. I mean, the shield isn't fixed. But we can fly this up to the space station. So let's go ahead and do that. We won't have a lot of room in our inventory, so uh, my suggestion is that we put some of the stuff in our other ship. All right, let's see. So we're going to get rid of the cobalt. Let's get rid of the navigation date. No, we'll keep the navigation date. We're going to sell that too. Silver, that, that. Launch fuel, of course. Upgrade. Yeah, we're going to sell that. We've got sodium and sodium nitrate. We've got ferrite. We've got silicate. We have, so we have plenty of space available now to sell our ship. Okay. So. All right. Off we go in this big behemoth of a ship. We're going to head for the space station. You can even lock in while you're in atmosphere. A lot of times and to get to the space station so we'll be able to sell this and once we sell it our main ship will reappear in our inventory it'll shit will be on the docking bay of the space station but i'm going to get more money out of this ship than the other one at least i think i am haulers are usually worth a lot more money even the c class so this is our first foray into a space station this ought to be pretty good And down we go. So the first thing we're going to do is try to sell this. Hopefully it'll let me. And the ship seller is over here. This is what we're looking for. Now there's nothing in this ship that we can take apart. Again, I just want to double check it. Nope, we're good. Salvage. Claim the worth. So it's almost $5 million it's worth. So that's pretty good. Wants to know for sure. We're going to claim it. 
And there it is. It's gone. Now, if we watch, see our radiant pillar has come back in, not the other ship. So if we come back to here, we have some upgrades, pulse engine and hyperdrive. Um, we will probably go ahead and hang on to them for now until we can upgrade better. And we have compressed indium shed. So this is how we make the money. This is the money that stuff we sell. My suggestion is you sell it to people who land in the docking bay. There's that ship we keep seeing land. Explorer class. It's really nice looking. Couple fighters. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and sell some stuff. Up here, and we're going to scroll down, get our nano... Spool of nano cables gone. Uh, Subatomic regulators, the compressed indium scraps, which are the most valuable, recycled circuitry, and the Viking effigy. And now we can buy whatever we want. We're going to get some more ferrite dust from him. Let's get a few of the wiring looms. I'm going to get eight, nine, ten of those. Okay, we're going to drop down. We're going to get all the pure ferrite because we can use some. Pyrite is a very handy commodity. Get it when you can. You don't have to get it more than one time. Later on, you might need it, but for now, that's all you should need. Oh, let's. How much is this ship? Let's just check it out. So it's a C class as well. It does have one supercharged slot. Probably, yeah, 1.5 mil for a trade in. Not bad. Not really interested. We won't buy it. And there's the hauler. That one's worth a lot more. It's an A class worth 52 million. That's why if you find an A-class that's on the ground, oof, get it. Now, we can go in here and talk to people, but we want to sell the other ship when we can. Oh, that's a cool-looking fighter. Look at that. Got kind of a chromey appear to it, appearance to it. Gold chrome, nice. B-class worth 9.4 million. Very, very nice. Capitalist is what we've reached. So we're going to take this out just briefly. We're going to land, pull in the other ship, and then we're going to fly it up here and sell it. So straight down to the planet. We can't pull the ship in yet into a landing space on a space station. I don't know why, but you can't do it. I think there's something over there. Eh, maybe not. Those are trees. Oh, well. It's hoping for a landing pad, but it's okay. No? Okay. Let's just land. Okay, anywhere we want. And then what you do is you can choose to summon a vehicle, which is another ship, and it'll be this one. And there it is. And again, we can check the starship, make sure there's nothing we can, you know, take apart, which there isn't. So we're going to take this up to the space station and sell it as well. Straight up. Space station should be right in front of us. There it is. It takes us a few seconds to get there. Sometimes you can be attacked by pirates or run into rocks or something like that and damage your ship, so you got to be careful. All right, and there we go. And then once we've sold this ship, then we can explore the space station. Now, you notice that the episode is reaching about the one-hour mark, and that's perfectly fine. We're going to go over a little bit today. But we do want to get to a stopping point soon. Now we got four, about four and a half million for that other ship. So let's see how much we get for this one. All right, 3.6 million. So we didn't get quite as much, but that's okay. We got, we're still getting a good amount of money. It's more than we had, right? And let's see what upgrades we got. We got a Starship Shield upgrade. That's good. And an A-Class upgrade. Upgrade for the pulse engine. Excellent. Good, 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 good. And we get a storage augmentation, so we get an upgrade for the ship even further. Let's put this in our starship, too, while I'm thinking of it. So we got some repairs to do, don't forget. Oh, and while you're here, upgrade your exosuit. Get an upgrade for it. The first one you get is free. 
We don't have anything to put up here yet, so I'm going to continue to fill this in. I'm going to get rid of the empty spot in the middle that's driving me nuts. We're going to get rid of the C-Class upgrades. Well, one of them anyway. Oh, yep, we can't sell anything to him yet. All we can do is ask about people. Alright, so we are done here. We sold our ship. So, that's good. We got rid of both ships. We ended up with all this money that we have. Let's go ahead and uh, actually talk to this guy and sell it off. There we go. And sell. Nano cables. Indium scraps. Good. We could sell the storage augmentation too, but I'm definitely going to hang on to that. Those are hard to come by. Let's get some more ferrite dust from this guy. Uh, he has a bunch of copper. Go ahead and grab that too. We can make some more chromatic metal. Uh, we're not going to worry about the rest. The rest is okay. If you can find someone with chromatic metal and you have the money to buy it, go ahead and do so. I'll try this guy real quick. Always good to check out the other pilots. More ferrite dust. We always could use more. Uranium. Oh, that's a good one to get. And there's some more copper. We'll go ahead and grab it. Alright, good. Is the other ship gone? He just left. Okay. Oh, somebody else landed. Chromatic metal is what I'm interested in. We may have some in the trade terminal. We'll check it out when we get there. There's two trade terminals in the space station. There's one out front here, and there's one in the back. Yep, he has the same thing as the other guy. But again, I'm going to grab his ferrite dust. Another ship landed over there. White Explorer. Okay, I gotta check it. Because that looks pretty. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love these ships. What does he have to offer? I think we have enough of the pure ferrite and everything like that. Good. What about a starship? It's an A-class. Ooh. Look at all those slots available. He's got two supercharged slots. Very nice. 6.5 million. I can buy it from him right now and get a really nice ship rather than my Radiant Pillar. What do you think? I'm thinking a good deal because these things really got... They got good hyperdrive range. And very good shield strength. They're excellent maneuverability. Even though it's not a fighter, it's a good ship. And it's got everything I have over here except for the rocket launcher, so we can pull that out. If we can keep them here long enough, let's go ahead and go into our starship. Uninstall this and see if we can move stuff over. Four slots available. We're running out of room. Okay, what do we have in our suit inventory we can sell? Nothing. Everything we need. Oh well. Guess we're not getting this ship, huh? We can get rid of that. That's one. We can get more silicate later on. That's two. So that's about it. Hopefully he doesn't leave. Ah. Let's see what we can sell to him. Hold on. So I'm going to go into my ship inventory. I'm going to get rid of the salvage data and get a little extra money. We only have five silver. Let's go ahead and sell this stuff off. And now we have all of it. And then we can back up and we can buy his ship. Because this is a very good ship to get. So yeah, we're going to negotiate. We're going to take it for 6.5. I definitely want that ship. Okay, good deal. He's over there now at that ship. So let's put our stuff back over here. But before we do, let's at least boost some stuff up. So that's in a ch charge slot. That's good. Pulse engines work good in supercharged slots. So go ahead and put them over there. But never put your launch thrusters in there. All right. Pulse engine boosted. So that gives us more maneuverability as well. I'm going to put this in here for now because, you know, we're going to be using it. Uh, rocket launcher. Put it with everything else. And that gives us more damage potential for when we get into those occasional fights. And let's move over the stuff that we don't need to keep in our main inventory. 
Now, the pyrite is definitely used, and so is the uranium, for flight. So we're going to put him in the ship over there, as well as anything else we don't need. We need to really work on our chromatic metal, so we'll work on that in just a little bit. All right, I'm very happy now. We did a good job. Just make sure this guy doesn't have any chromatic metal. Hold on. Ooh, it's actually a nicer ship than I thought. Let me just check it. Do you have any chromatic metal? No. Okay. I'm just curious about your ship. It's kind of a nice looking ship, isn't it? Hmm. Pretty. Green to orange. Wow. Green, it, it's orange fading to yellow and then into green. Oh, that's just kind of nice looking. All right, we gotta talk to some people. The life form puffs himself up as I approach, making most of their impressive sighs. Perhaps they might recognize the signal mentioned by the base computer. Ask about 16. Hearing the code seems to cause the life form to shrink, a look of fear crossing their face, and then in an instant, the fear passes. They look at me strangely, but say nothing more. Okay, let's talk to somebody else. Now, these space stations have other life forms occasionally besides Viking. in this case. If you look around, you might find a Corvax or something like that, but... You know what? I, that's all I'm finding is the Viking. So, let's talk to another Viking. He says something in his language. Despite their size, the alien does not seem aggressive, but when I blink, I see that same red light that stared at me at the distress beacon. Repeat 16. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly to my exosuit. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form glaring at me. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have witnessed it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. Leave. Weird. Okay. So we have access to space stations. So we're going to go back in here. We're going to get some more ferrite dust, because we can. Um, let's see. Anything else we need out of here? Nope. I'm not even going to bother with the tritium anymore, because we have pyrite and uranium. Both of those are used in fuel sphere ship. More so than tritium. Ah, uh, you know what? The tritium is used for other recipes. Let's grab it anyway. I'm going to put it in our starship inventory. There we go. Now, like I said, there are two terminals here. There's one here. One on the other side. Let's go check out the one on the other side. Not sure what it's telling me. Oh, setting out, huh? Okay. Uh, round all these guys. There we go. Get the nanites. Go to the terminal. So it looks sometimes a little different. See, they have pure ferrite in here. And they have more copper. Let's grab the copper. Remember we needed uranium as well? I mean, ammonia? For repairing that one... Um... Multi-tool? Let's see what we can do here. So we have the wiring looms. Let's go ahead and put them in. I want to repair that as soon as possible. Wiring loom there too, so that's two. We have ionized cobalt. See, there's the ammonia and the uranium. I just need phosphorus now. More quad servos. We need three quad servos? Oh, you stink. <laughs> yeah, we can unload those two. We're going to be running out of ionized cobalt here soon. Okay. Yeah, we need three of those quad servos. That's going to be a fun time. I tell you that. But we will get this un opened up all the way. So it's got a lot of space in it for things. So the ricochet module. Let's put our bolt caster in there to get a little more damage. Uh, paralysis mortar is very, very handy to have. We'll put that out to the side, though. Mining beam. We will put this down here eventually. Scanner. Analysis visor. Okay, we're in good shape at the moment. All right. Oh, you know what we are missing? We are missing our terrain manipulator. So we're going to keep we're going to keep this in our inventory for now. We do need some silicate. We'll get that later. All right. 
I don't know why it keeps pointing us in this direction. We've already been here. It's gonna give us another upgrade for free. How nice. Oh, 5,000 it's gonna charge us. Um, I'm gonna continue to put it down here. Let's fill in this spot over here instead. Although, we have a gap here. Let's take care of that one. Can we do it again? No? Nope. Can't talk to anybody else. Okay, just checking. Alright, let's take our new ship back. So, we can use the teleport terminus instead. Rather than the ship. So, let's go ahead and do that. Strange, it's not lit up and I don't know why. I don't know if that's a graphic issue in the game right now. But usually there's that swirling vortex that's brightly glowing white. For some reason it's not showing right now. Okay. Let's turn around and look. Ah, now it's glowing. Much better. Okay, so how are we doing? Good, they're putting out full power right now, and that thing should be, yep, fully charged, as I expected. Alright, visit our base computer. We are coming to an end of our episode here, so we're going to be shutting down here in just a minute. Archives terminated. Select new task. Begin decryption, decoding. 16, 16, 16. Message follows. The traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. Signal acquired. Life signs detected. Wonder where that is. Let's check. That way. 52 minutes away. We ought to take our ship. Alright, look at that ship. Isn't that cool? The thing I like best is I love the layout and the cockpit. Much easier to deal with. So, anyway. Come back out. Ah, it's a nice looking ship. I do like this. It's, I love ships that have symmetry to them, so... Uh, let's see, 55 seconds. We could go up to the upper atmosphere just a little bit. It will get us there just a little bit quicker. And just immediately float right back down, see? It'll increase for just a second as we come in, but see, it actually worked a lot quicker. Ah! I think we found a location, don't you? Let's take the landing beacon over here, the little landing pad. Alright. Yep, target located. Alright, so here's where we are. And this is going to be replete with some more stuff that we can get. Log damaged. Partial records available. The signal has led me to the wreck of a freighter. Colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long-forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log. Blinking. Awaiting input. Request the log. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. Take the blueprint. I pulled the blueprint from the computer, but this hyperdrive blueprint is for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. There it is. So we need a little more chromatic metal and five microprocessors. So we can go to the space station and get the microprocessors, but we're going to do, while we're, we're searching this site, we're going to drop our refiner down. Load it up, and we are going to drop in all that copper that we acquired. And get ourselves a bunch of chromatic metal. So let's let that go. It's going to take three minutes. While we're waiting, we're going to pick up some cargo. So see this cargo thing right here? We're going to pick that up. We don't have to dig. But I'm going to because I need the silicate. So, there we go. Now, after we clear this out and the item comes out of it, we got to run because the when it opens, it releases toxins. Usually of a radioactive nature. Looks like it gave us nanites instead of an item. That's interesting. All right, there's another one over here. I don't know if we can get to it, though. 
because of this landscape here. Nope, we're not going to be able to get to that one. Yeah, not going to be able to get to that one, unfortunately. So we're going to miss out on one of them. All right, there's a few over here. Should be one down here. There you are. First person view. We're going to open it up. Okay. More nanites is all it gave us. There's another one right here. Thought I'd get some items out of these, but... Interesting. Okay, there we go. And we're going to go into this one. Antimatter housing that time. That's good. One. I'm just going to make a door to the outside. Okay, good. And last but not least. Warp cell. Very nice. Alright, and did we get the one in the middle? I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, we got the one in the middle. So we got that one, that one, that one, and this one. And the one over there. And that's all we can get. Okay. We've got a warp cell, so that's very handy. Is this thing still going? Sure is. Should be finishing up in a few moments. What is it going to take? Yeah, less than a minute. Okay, so we've got a lot of chromatic metal. So we can go ahead and start building our warp drive out of this. And we need four more microprocessors. So we're going to go back to the space station and get that. I'm going to put this over there. There we go. All right. getting some silicate powder. In case you're wondering. There we go. up and we're on our way yep okay so we need to go to the space station and that's actually where it's telling us to go right now there we go I was thinking earlier that I probably needed to get those microprocessors, but I forgot. So, it is what it is. So this will give us our hyperdrive, and we're going to end this in the anomaly. Ah, what a pretty ship. I do like it. I keep saying that, I know. I know. Leave me alone. Two, three, and four. There we go. We should be able to repair our ship now. Actually install this. And we have one warp hypercell, so we can drop that in. Excellent. And we should have the re the resources to make... Oh, it's probably going to take us to the next stage, because it's going to tell us we need to find... Um, that's pretty, too. 
Find animata recipe. Okay, so we're gonna do that next. Let's go ahead and do that. Glad this is such a popular station. It's gonna make things easier. Okay. Auto diagnostic report. Hyperdrive successfully installed. Hyperdrive fuel status empty. Lies. My hyperdrive is complete. Perhaps I really will find answers out there amidst the stars. But without warp cells, I'll be going nowhere. I need to find a source of antimatter. Tune the scanner. Okay. Let's hit the sea as we exit. Try it again. There we go. Detected. Where you at? That way. Oh, back home again. Remember we went to this, we started at that planet. So let's head to the Animata Trace. Maybe we can discover the final animal on this planet and get ourselves a little extra in the way of nanites. So in case you're wondering, I mean, this isn't perfectly to the storyline. I could have kept my Radiant Pillar, but like I said, I'm making this into a main save. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to get money quick. I'm not going to glitch out a whole lot of stuff at any point in time, but at some time I'm going to be trying to make money, and uh, you're going to see what I do usually to make that money. All right. Approximate location. I think we need to go up there. Should be an abandoned site, if I remember correctly. No landing platform. Yeah, this is it. So you got whispering eggs here. We could take those as well, but I'm going to hold off doing that. We'll do that another time. Just making sure I don't have anything that's about to attack me. Okay. Get rid of our goop. Terminal online. Selecting key. Decrypting. Success. The terminal is clogged with an unnerving pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. As I touch the input panel, the alien substance reacts violently. I make a note to avoid getting closer. The device opens, revealing a single unblinking crimson eye. It prints out a blueprint for antimatter, accompanied by a strange message. Take the blueprint. You will find us when the time is right. 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16. 16, 16. And we have our antimatter formula. So we need to make anti antimatter. So we're going to do that over here in our inventory. But you'll see we've already got an antimatter cell. So all we need to do is make the warp cell. Now we can put a second one in. Give us 50% charge. Now that we've done that, we've completed a task. Crazy plateau thing, man. And I'm not seeing any animals. So, I think we're going to go ahead and take it out of here. Okay, so we need to test it. Let's go ahead and do this, and I think this will be the end of our episode. Okay, we're going to access our galaxy map. And... Free Explorer, Galactic Core, Free Explorer, Galactic Core. So we can go anywhere we want. Uh, let's see, we're going to choose a planet very close by. Uh, let's see, F0, F2. I like to get a decent size system. 5, 0 again, dissonant, huh? Hmm. One, two, three, four planets. Looks like we got a moon as well. Let's go there. Because dissonant, you know what that means. We can get ourselves a nice uh, sentinel ship early on. We'll be in good shape. We still need our advanced laser because that's the only way we can get our radiant shards. But we'll worry about it later. Ooh, pretty. First contact. The barren planet with cactus flesh. Okay, good. Oop, hello.
Starship monitoring systems reports error. Guidance system malfunction. Searching for other routes. Searching. Searching. Obtained. Destination in and a whole bunch of 16s. Accept new guidance. Accept. What else choice do we have? Guidance accepted. Plotting route. It's going to take us to a planet. But as usual, before we go there, we need to take a look around. All right, so this planet in front of us is this one right here. Let's scan it. Sub-zero, frost crystal, copper, dioxide, and silver. Good. Let's see where the dissonant world is. So there's another planet over here. Paradise planet, how nice. And two planets over here. We're a planet and a moon. And the moon is in front of the planet. That's interesting. We'll scan the planet first. Acidic. Ooh, tell me the moon is dissonant. Contaminated. Alright, so where's our dissonant pl planet at? You? Nope, that's paradise. Alright, let's head for the space station. Let me just check something real quick. Did we end up in a dissonant system? Interesting. It says water now. It changed it. Fascinating. So we don't have any dissonant here. Let's hit the space station anyway. I do recommend doing that at any particular point in time. When you get to a new system, because that way you have the system you can always go back to without creating bases. And if you hit the exo station up there, the exosuit station, you can upgrade your exosuit to another, another level. It's going to start costing more and more money every time, though. Keep that in mind. Finding your crash ships is a good way to fix that, though. Alright, so we're going to keep going up here. I'm going to fill in the gap there. And then over here, and then I'll fill these in. Alright. And while we're here, let's see if we have any exosuit stuff we can get. I'd like to get something for my jetpack. Movement module, but I don't see an S... Oh, they do have an S-Class one. I will grab that. Yes. And we're going to a cold planet, so... A-Class thermal protection would be good. We don't have any S-Class in here. That's fine. A-Class will do fine. Let's grab that, too. All right. Excellent. So I'll add a little bit of juice to our jetpack. That's good. And we're going to add this to our thermal. Excellent. All right. We're in good shape. Let's go ahead and head out. Ooh, a solar ship. C-Class. Still nice. You don't have any chromatic metal, do you, buddy? You do. I'll take it. Let's grab a couple hermetic seals. I don't think we need any hydraulic wiring. We did need paraffinium, though. I remember that. Dioxide is always handy. That's good for your life support as well. Tempted on getting the cobalt. And yeah, let's get the cobalt for now. We can, we can turn it into ionized later. And we're looking for anybody who has... Uh, what's the other gas? Phosphorus, I believe it is. Because I do want to repair my multi-tool. Because as you know, the multi-tool does have some spots on it that need some fixing. Alright, let's get out of here. We are going to get to that anomaly here really soon. Oop, this way. There we go. Locked in. I think we're locked in. We are locked in. Okay, good. And approaching the ringed planet. Sub-zero, but we have our protection, so we should be good. Alright, in we go. Entering atmosphere. 
As soon as we get down low enough. Do a scan. Ah, we got a facility right there, but I don't know if that's it. Doesn't make any sense that that would be the spot. Let's check our screen here. I don't see anything else. Ah, there's something over there. Let's just take a look. Hmm. Interesting. Wait a minute. I didn't see that before. Right here. That is an ancient... Uh... Monolith. That's it. That's where we're going. Gotcha. Alright, let's scan an animal or two. Six species on the planet. Okay, we already got three. This is why I do this. Because you get them pretty early on. We could use some buried technology too, but we'll worry about that later. Alright, let's head in. Now these little things on the corners here are words. And since this is a memory of the Viking, we're going to go ahead and grab it. It tells us we learned the word Viking, but we actually get a different word. See? Gra. The. It is. Okay. Got words. Let's move up here. It's going to tell us of languages. There, five words, very good. All right, the structure is unlike anything I've encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is so obviously alien, so obviously out of place. As I stare at it, words form themselves in my mind, a strange fragment of broken speech. Is it traveler? Is it friend? I'm gonna say traveler. I feel strange responding to questions I'm unsure that I'm being asked. But something has clearly taken notice of my reply. I am overwhelmed by a sense that something has awoken, that something is watching me. It forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? It is last. I don't know how I'm able to... Be I do not know how I am being spoken to. This monolith is ancient, and I cannot escape the feeling it has asked these questions many times over. It asks again. Have they seen the Crimson Eye? Has the Crimson Eye seen them? Both. Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters. Breach detected. Alert. Alert. The boundaries fall. The walls collapse. Your universe awaits. Find us, traveler. So we got a warp cell out of it. Go ahead and put it in. Shall we? There we go. Good deal. And off to our ship. Make our way into space, it says. Here we go. Searching a new system, huh? So nothing seems to be happening, so let's go ahead and search in a new system. So where should we go? We're going to go nearby. Again, we're not going to go far. Water. Water. I want to see if I can find a dissonant system again. F9 water. That's nice. Three. Oh, dissonant. Just saw it. Let's hit it. Lots of planets on this one. Let's see if it remains dissonant. Because if it does, that will be a good thing. We can get our ship lit eventually. And then probably going to get the anomaly on here. So in just a moment. There we go. Looks like exactly the same spot we left, right? Wow, look at that. Is that gorgeous or what?
Oh, incoming message. This should be it. Incoming transmission, source unknown. You are not alone. Please identify yourself. I'm I'm gonna identify myself. You left me. Why did you tell him you don't understand? Of course you'd say that. Of course you'd just, just like the others. Just ask who you are speaking to. There is no reply. The communication falls silent, though the channel remains open. Ah, coordinates received. So this is going to be a longer episode than I expected, so... Look at these planets. I mean, my gosh, they're beautiful. Let's check this one. Endless morass. Dissonance detected. Okay, so that's where we're going to be, probably be heading, heading in a minute. So we may be staying in the system for a little while. We do want to hit the... Whoop, hit the space station. Where's the space station at? There she is. Oh, that's another planet we haven't discovered. Fungal. And that one over there looks like it's a... Uh, low atmosphere or something. Metallic. Yeah, yeah. Definitely an oddball planet. Let's head to the space station real quick and land. There we go. Screech! It's a side, the side wing scrapes the walls. That would be funny. Got a couple nice ships in here. That hauler looks pretty cool. I do have to admit. All right. While we're here. Uh, is it over here? No, it's over here. Nice. Let's get an upgrade. Uh, down here first. There we go. Again, we're going to check him out and see if we have a upgrade that we can use. Movement module A. Toxic protection. Falling, as I expect it to tell me. Uh, I'm going to hold off on it. I'm going to hold off on it. We'd rather have an S-Class upgrade. All right, off we go. Look at that tiny little thing, huh? All right. And now we have access to this space station. In a dissonant world. Okay, so we're not going to the fungal planet. We're going to the toxic one. With the rings. If I remember correctly, I think... This is either a little campsite or a ship. I think it's a campsite, if I remember correctly. Let's get underneath this cloud here so we can get where we can see. There we go. Scan. No. Okay. That might be it. Let's just go a little further because it seems to be all the way over here. Something to our left. That looks like it might be it. Let's head over there. Oops, sorry. It's like a hauler. Yep, this is it. Guessing... Oh, I landed on top of the distress beacon. Go figure, right? Sodium and chromatic metal. Zzzt. Zzzt. There are no signs of life. There is only the static of a broken communicator. Extract the records. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I can extract is the pilot's name. Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. The only other uncorrupted data is a set of plans, an upgrade for my mining beam. Ah, the advanced mining laser. Awesome. Oh, we are definitely putting that in right now. Let's get the carbon nanotube real quick. There we go. Multi-tool. Advanced mining beam. Very, very handy. Now we got that, we're in good shape. Excellent. Okay, let's check out the damaged machinery and get stuff. And we are going to take the ship back to the space station, guaranteed. We need the money. K-1-1. 
Okay, good, good. A little more sodium back. Okay. Gek relic. Get this thing here. Got some technology. Alright, we're in good shape. Let's take the ship. How much room do we have in our inventory first before we leave? Should have enough. Yeah, we should be in good shape. Okay. The C-Class. Uh, looks like we do have a thing we can drop out of there. Compare. Flame. And we're going to uninstall this. And we do have to create some stuff. We need a uh, metal plate. Dihydrogen jelly. There you go. Let's get up here. Repair that. And we're going to repair that. There we go. We're all repaired. Put this back in my inventory. Alright, good. So now we can use this ship to get up to the space station and sell it. Get about four mil for it. Hey, where's the space station? There you are. Don't want to answer the message yet. We want to get rid of this ship first. going to be doing a lot of this. We're going to be picking up a lot of ships and selling them. The Sentinel ships, when we get those, we're going to look for more than one, because when we sell one of those, man, we're going to get some serious money out of that. There we go. Okay, we'll answer it in a minute. We're gonna sell the ship first. Get that done real quick. Uh, two million. Okay, so it's not worth as much as I thought, but hey, every little bit counts, right? And we probably got a couple C-Class upgrades out of it, and we're gonna go ahead and sell those. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I'll keep them. Every little bit helps right now, so. Build up my inventory. Ooh, we got a starship augmentation out of it, too. That's great. And there's a lone likely soul to sell it to. Come on, get out of the ship. There we go. Sell. Uh, let's see, what do we got? I'm gonna keep that. The augmentation, let's give it to the Nano cables, relic, subatomic regulators. And that was it? I guess so. Alright. So we're up to two, almost three million. That's nice. He doesn't have really anything in here. Oh, phosphorus. I did need that. And we're going to grab the silver too, because we'll need that later anyway. Alright, good. Good, good, good. Got some good stuff out of this. Ship, ship. Put this stuff in my ship real quick. Hang on a second here. Cobalt, Arifinium, Phosphorus. Let's put the chromatic metal in there too. Alright, that looks good. Oh, shield. There we go. Alright. Let's answer the call, shall we? Ooh, nada. Artemis Entity, we received your signal. Is it first? Is it last? Then he pauses. Time for truth. You have their signal, but you are not Artemis Entity. Tell the truth. Your signal is familiar to nada. We have been in contact before, I think. This will be a good time to come aboard. Yes, a proper introduction to our home. And thunk. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, the anomaly. Okay, so we're going to enter the anomaly. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to do the anomaly mission for the weekend. I'm not going to do it now, but you've already seen the Anomaly mission. You saw it that past weekend. You're going to see it in the past weekends on every Friday night. I am not going to do it for you to see on this particular run through, but I will do it so I can get some Quicksilver out of it. Done. Okay. So we're going to end the episode here in front of this marvelous ship. Um, not sure how much longer we're going to have this ship, but we'll have it for a little while longer anyway. And... I want to thank you all for watching and appreciate you all. 
Thank you. Please hit the like and subscribe. And we will see you all folks next in our next episode. Hit that like and subscribe. Take care, everybody.